I'll always hold them responsible, always. Whether I get an apology or not from them, I've been waiting for three and a half years for them to say sorry and to admit they still won't and I've still heard nothing, but they will always be responsible for what they've done to my boy. Hayley Matthews only has a few photos of her baby Jack before he died, shortly after being born in Telford Hospital in 2015. She, like dozens of other families, knows his death was preventable, a result of inadequate care. How were you treated through the whole birth? Disgraceful. I was left on my own the majority of the time. For two days I was in there. Hardly seen anybody. I had to keep going looking for people to ask them for medication. Today, the Care Quality Commission has published a withering report on the Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital Trust, rating it as inadequate. It makes me angry. I've been through meetings, I've sat for three hours at a time in meetings after meetings, promised me they'd change a lot of things. And at the minute, I've seen absolutely nothing, nothing at all. The report highlights a culture of bullying and harassment at the hospital trust. It said both medical and nursing staffing was not adequate to keep patients safe and staff felt they were fearful to raise concerns or issues. Today there was anger from campaigners attending an off-camera board meeting with the hospital's management. The problems are at the top with an executive that's not fit for purpose. Simon Wright has to take responsibility for care being unsafe. But the chief executive is refusing to resign. I'm absolutely passionate about taking the right steps. In order for us to do that, though, we have to be able to acknowledge the challenges and encourage our staff to bring all of those things out into the open. And we've done that now. They're laid bare for everybody to see. What we're now going to be doing is the building work to create an organisation that everybody can be proud of. And I intend to see that through to fruition. <laughs> Recent plans to limit Telford's A&E were met with bitter local opposition, but now this report has piled further pressure on the hospital's management from the community it serves.